I've got something that I want to share with you that might help you get out of a bit of frustration. I, I was sort of almost about to pull the little hair I have left out of my head. Um, so I brought in this document. It's a PSD file and I brought it into designer. Everything was fine. I had the text here. I wanted to ultimately have this as a card. So this is a, just a template that I brought in and I want to be able to change this Amanda Clarissa into whichever names. So I want to merge names in and you do the merging in publisher, affinity publisher. And that's what I'm going to be showing you. But I, I knocked into a wall not being able to even do the first starting off of the merge. So I, I put in all the links, everything. And when I ran it to merge it, nothing was happening. It was hanging all the time. And I couldn't understand why. But now I'm going to show you the difference. So if you just brought in the document, this is just a PSD or whatever EPS you're going to bring in. And you decide to go to file and then take it over, edit it in publisher. Everything will work correctly. OK, so if I go over here now, oh, wait, wait, let me first do what I want to do and then show you what it comes across as. So what I did is because I'm working in here, I decided to make this into an artboard. OK, so that was my first kind of uh, permutation that I brought in that caused this problem. But there is a way around it. So if I went to artboard, I said, make this document that I brought in and say insert into an artboard. OK, there we go. So I made this into an artboard. Happy days. And I was busy editing, moving, whatever I wanted to. And now, OK, I'm going to go over to publisher. I went file, edit in publisher, came across, open publisher. Well, happy. I saw everything. Now, yet came in with some issues with fonts. You can go in and restore whatever you need to there. But I'm fine with this. So I came in here, did all the things that I'm going to do afterwards to show you and put in the merge fields and started doing the merge and the thing just hung. I shut it down again, opened it, did it the same. It kept going. I couldn't merge more than one record through. And I was like kind of getting quite frustrated because it seemed to have been so simple. But here's the key. You notice that I converted it to an artboard inside of Designer and brought it across. But if you look here under Pages, so if you're not seeing any of these dialogues, of course, you can go to is it view studio and uh, where's pages. You enable that. I usually dock my layers on the left and my important pages and assets here. Um, usually it's on the right hand side. But if you look under pages here, you see there's no pages. And that's why it was holding the document and wasn't able to merge because there weren't any pages. There wasn't a master page to start working with because that's how publisher works. And then lo and behold, uh, I mean, I was trying to look for complicated answers, but here the simple answer was convert artboard to spreads. OK, so when I did that, it created, changed this into a spread. Let me show you if I go click there. There we go. There it's putting the first spread and then everything from this point on then started working. OK, so it's a, it's a small thing, but it can actually block you if you're coming from the designer with your file and you're working with an artboard. Just make sure you do that click. Now I'm going to go Control Z to go back and I'm going to just go and go back to Designer. OK, so we bring it into Designer. It's still an artboard. I'm going to go Control Z to take it out of the artboard. Let's me do one or two more. Let's see. There we go. So this is pre me converting it to an artboard. So if you do not convert it to an artboard, you're safe. You won't have this bad problem that I had. If I go now, it automatically will take it across as a page. It will convert it as a page. So it's the trick is if you do artboard, press that additional convert to artboard in publisher. So if I just take this across now, let's take it across into publisher. And lo and behold, we'll see the page comes automatically. OK. So don't forget that. And if your friends are also struggling because they're working with artboards and they expect it to arrive in the page, just to help them through that. OK, so how do we merge things? Now you can have multiple fields, but I'm going to just show you a simple one where I have names that I'm going to replace how that happens. So this is the process. You have to get your source file coming through, which is often an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, let me see if I can open the spreadsheet uh, where I have it. 
give me a second or, or maybe I'll, I'll get the spreadsheet through the menus over here. You're going to go and get a spreadsheet and then on the spreadsheet you need to have a title on top, usually in the first line, maybe it's name or whatever it is. And then in the column you have the actual content. So I'm just merging names. So I have an Excel spreadsheet that's got the title on top, which I just called names. And at the bottom, it's each person's name. So if you go here now to the area, so you don't necessarily have to select this. You start off with document, okay? Document. And then from that point, you go to data merge manager. Okay, got that one. Pull it up here. Now you'll see this is blank here because you don't have a data source or data source. You go to the bottom and you click there. Now in this case, um, I've got it here. Okay, so this is the file that I'm using. And I'll open that file to show you also. But this is the one that I'm using. If I click here, I'm going to say open. And you see it pulls it through there. Okay, these buttons here. Update just means that if you went to update the Excel spreadsheet, then you have to click update if you've changed any of the fields so that it synchronizes across. Okay, so here's it giving me the sheet name. And if I want to show what's in that sheet, I click here, it will open it up for me. And there it gives it to me for me to be able to open. Now I'm going to just right click on that and say open so we can open it up in Excel and just have a peek at what it is. So here you see uh, it's, it's simple. You can have multiple columns. And just make sure the first line has the, the header. So if I wanted to put in here, for example, a date, I'll just put date on top so I know which one to reference and I can put the dates in there. Okay, and, and they will pull according to record. This would be the name, whatever the field is. So everything of this individual will pull across here based on those names. Okay, so this, this is what the file is. I've got, I think there's 25 names. It's 26 lines, but 25 names. I'll just close that and select as if I want to make a change. So if I wanted to go and change it to another file, I could do that. Okay, you can see I've started renaming files because I thought there was an error with the file, etc. But it wasn't an error, it was what I explained to you. So here it says one field or one fields, 25 records loaded. Okay, so we are there. Here again, you can do filter the range. I'm going to select all. And here's an interesting little button. If you go preview, it's going to show you what it's previewing. Now, here's a key point that you don't know which area has been allocated to this data area. But you are going to firstly go collect the data source. And then there's one other step where we're going under the menu area to be able to get a, a file insert or field insert area. That will give us a different dialog window where we then can make a selection of the area we want to and it will adapt to the font and the, the, the effects that are on it and it will place a, a merge field in that area. Okay, but this step is just to make sure we've selected the file with all those fields in them and now we can close this off for the meanwhile. The next thing we do is we select the field that we're going to do this merge process with. Okay, and now we need to get a very important uh, another dialog box. If we go to view, we go to studio. Let's see under that. If we go down this one that says fields. Now we could put this if we're using it quite often, we could enable that. It's going to pop over here and we could drop it in to one of these menus. But if you're not using it that often, you can just pull it out. Now it's got tons of, tons of different uh, expressions in there. The ones that we are interested in is the data merge. Now this will appear here mainly because we have already loaded in and you can see that it says source is name. So that was on top of that Excel spreadsheet and the merge index here. And if you click here, you'll see there the data merge. So if we had to go and just select this uh, text box and I double click here, nothing's going to happen because it doesn't know what in the text box it's going to be replacing because we might want to drop it in different areas. So if I go in there and at the point where it's selected, if I do that, it's going to put that name in between the D and the A also. Let's just see that. Okay, can you see that? Okay, so 
I want to go and select all. So I'm saying replace all of those texts with this particular field. If I double click, there we have it. So now we can close this window and just go back to that uh, data merge. And if we look now, even if we are not selected in there, but we come in here now and we've got preview the record. If I flip between, there we go. So you can see some of them are maybe a bit too long like that. So you've just got to be wise in, in the, the sizing of the names that you have and that choose a size of a box that's of the biggest sort. So the longest name that you're going to have that fills that area, make sure your box is that wide and things can always be smaller and centered or to the left. But your formatting you can do on that. I'm just showing you how the merge happens now. And there we go through there. Okay. Once you get to this point, then it's a matter of generating a file. But it's important at this stage, you can close that so long, is to go here and say save or save as. And this is going to be your core file that in future, if you're using the similar template and you want to change the names, you are going to come back to this one. Because after clicking the generate button that I'm going to show you now, uh, it's going to create a second window on top here, which will have all the files printed out uh, for you. And that is a different file. So if we come here, you go back to document, the same area, data merge, and you get back here. And now you'll see this button here at the bottom that says generate. will create another tab on top with all these 25 records in. And that you can save on its own if you want to maybe modify one of them independently. But they're two different kind of files. The one is the raw one that is a link to a database or an Excel spreadsheet. The other one is the output of it. So if we click here, generate, there you see data merge and there it goes through my one. Based on that other problem I was giving you was just hanging over there. Now you can see how quickly it just goes through. Okay, so here we look in the side here, we'll see there's all the pages up to 25 pages that's been created. If we go through them, they basically all the names that we have in that have merged in there. Okay, now here you've got to look, here is a different document. And if you want to save all these 25, you can go file and I would say save as or even save and give it a new name. But if we look here on this side, this is that original document, the single one. This is all the documents listed. Okay, so at this point you can go with all the documents listed and file and you can go as export and here you can choose whichever format and what it will do is it will export each of these in whichever format. So if you say PNG, it will export 25 PNG files. If you say PSDs, it will export 25 PSD files or PDFs. It doesn't merge them all together uh, because it treats it as single pages that you're putting through. Okay, because you're busy printing all pages or you could navigate to one of them and just print a single one. But for my case, when I do all the kind of certificates in that, then you print it and it will merge through and you'll have all your documents out there. So let me just do this. If I said, for example, uh, PNG, remember all the settings under more and crops and all that still works. So we go export. Um, actually, here yeah, you can see I've done this now also for one of the clients, all the, the kind of notifications with each individual person's name on. Now, understandably, when you save it, you're going to give it a name and it doesn't pull through the name that you have in this field. I assume there probably might be a way of doing that, but um, I'm not too concerned about that because I, I, I'll rename these or send it through to the client and they'll they'll know which ones it is. But then you just save it and it will take on this name and add the underscore one, two, three, four, etc. OK, so that's how we're able to merge in here. Um, and when you're done saving this, if you're only printing it once, you really don't need to save it because if you need another batch, you can open this one and do the merge out. So I usually don't. I just close that. And this original one is the one I keep. OK, I'm going to do this. All of them will size down, though. But I'll do this. And this is the one I save. So this is my kind of master that I work with. Come next next month and you need to change names. You pretty much can come here, uh, go to data merge, put in a new Excel spreadsheet, pull it through and 
that's how it works you can pull all of those things through so that's quite incredible guys have done uh, business not business cards with this but like player cards where there's different specs on and just have an excel spreadsheet with all the fields and merge it into one it really works well if you are sending a congratulations and personalize it in this way so have a fantastic day and shalom